Hi Scorpio, welcome to your quantum reading with me, Jocelyn, the Quantum Queen. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And of course, welcome to all of my cross watchers. And this is going to be for the next couple weeks again, just for your guys' relationships, what's coming up. This could be for like co-workers, friends, family members significant other, spouse, any type of relationship that you guys are dealing with. So keep in mind that these are general readings and just try to apply everything to your situation as much as possible, okay? And if it doesn't resonate with you, it's probably not your message. So let's go ahead and jump in. If you guys would like to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can find my information down below in the description box. Also, if you guys would like to make a good karma donation, that information is also located down below. And just wanted to, of course, always say thank you to everyone who's liking and subscribing. And thank you to those who have made donations. I appreciate that so, so much. So let's go ahead and jump in, Scorpio, and see what's coming up in your relationships for the next couple weeks. Ooh, yeah, we got a jumper there. So we've got make the effort, okay? So it says great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So Scorpio, it looks like um, maybe there's some stuff coming up in your relationships and it's just going to take a little bit of effort to really put it into that. Maybe, and again, this could apply to any situation. This could be with work. You know, you're really having to put the effort in when it comes to your work relationships, to your friendships, love relationships. Let me just pull out one more clarifier and then we'll pull up some more cards in the tarot. So let's see what comes up. Oh, yeah. Okay. We've got let go of control issues. It says allow this situation to unfold naturally. So Scorpio, with this combination... I want to say that, um, oh, that is so funny. So, yeah, maybe it looks like you've, you're, you're trying to control a situation, maybe with a relationship that you're having to put some effort into. Maybe there are some issues coming up and it's just, and it's kind of like, don't try to control it so much. And I feel like, especially for you, Scorpio, you guys are so good at like analyzing details you know you guys are so observant and you know that's the thing that I love about Scorpios is how they always look like they have their cool but they I always remember them that they look like they have it all together but underneath the surface like the the wheels are turning they're analyzing everything they're looking at everything so I feel like that's kind of where you need to let go of in the first place is in your mind. You know, maybe hold back a little bit on analyzing the situation so much because you might be like going overboard and overanalyzing the situation. So maybe just kind of surrender a little bit in your mind. Like, redirect your focus. Okay, this one keeps wanting to jump out. I I love when Spirit does this. I always put a card back in, and then it jumps out. Like, no, quit ignoring me. So, Scorpio, it looks like maybe there's some disappointment here going on. And you're feeling like some type of loss. Maybe you lost out on an opportunity with a relationship, with a job opportunity, with something going on in a relationship. There's some type of feeling of loss here going on. And with all of this combination, I'm just seeing you need to, again, just reiterating. It might be fine. Just kind of let go of control. Maybe there's um, a relationship where you or maybe whoever's watching this cross watcher this could apply to you or maybe you were the controlling one in the relationship or maybe you had to let go of a relationship because they were very controlling and there could just be a little bit more effort that's needed here that could really resolve the situation we've got the eight of wands so it looks like there might be some fast communication coming in on either your side or with 
the person or that you're in a relationship with one or either of you might be reaching out for contact this is like fast communication and usually over the internet or you know some type of technology so there could be like a text or an email that either you are constructing or this other person is yeah that's funny okay we've got the ace of swords so that's definitely some new clarification some new communication and I feel like maybe in the past too there is some type of blockage that happened like one of one or both of you um cut things off and the six of cups is all about nostalgia so it looks like Scorpio there is a relationship that like I said there there might be some new communication coming in because you're feeling some type of nostalgia like you're thinking about the memories of them i mean and obviously there's some disappointment here some feeling of loss um that you lost out on this opportunity with in this relationship with this person so let me pull out just one more card to kind of see what else is going on in this situation yep there we go we've got the moon so it looks like what I want to say here with the moon card is there were either some secrets going on or some type of illusions, you know, something going on in that way. And this, oh, this is what I'm picking up with the let go of control issues. I feel like either you, Scorpio, or the person that you were in relationship, they were very controlling. And so that always kind of naturally happens when there's a controlling person in a relationship. That's such a dominant energy that usually the other person that feels controlled will be kind of secretive. Because yeah, if you're feeling dominated and like you don't have room to wiggle because someone is so controlling then it usually makes you a little deceptive like you have secrets because you're having to hide everything because the person is so controlling so that's kind of the situation i feel like is going on in this relationship i am wondering if there is some type of blockage or you know separation that happened here but um if scorpio either you or cross watcher um, dealing with a Scorpio, if you guys have separated or something, and you're feeling disappointment, you're feeling some nostalgia, then, and, you know, f like, really thinking about the memories of the relationship, that's what I'm picking up with the Six of Cups, and the Six is Harmony, so there might actually be a potential for Harmony in this relationship, and there might just be a little bit of an effort required and just letting go of some control issues like really just taking it easy because so we've got the six of swords here again another six that's some harmony so it looks like one or both of you left the situation I feel like it's the person who felt controlled maybe they left because they couldn't stand and this could either be you Scorpio or the other person one of you left to kind of um some distance between the two of you and just separate to kind of move on to a smoother situation maybe there were some just issues going on I mean of course with the control issues but with the seven of pentacles I feel like and coming out on top of the six of cups there is a foundation there that's been built you know a, a long-standing history between the two of you there's there's been a lot of time and effort put into this relationship so it I want to say with these energies I'm not seeing anything truly negative I mean of course the control issues but I feel like the relationship actually might be worth salvaging um it just looks like maybe you guys needed some distance here because of the control and this is because of someone's past okay there anyone that tries to control it's because of their past it's their own fears right like that's why people control in the first place because they usually have some type of fear of being rejected or abandoned or you know just all that childhood crap that comes up that we were raised with so i'm feeling like 
maybe this person who was, had some control issues has done the work or, you know, really made the effort to try to clear up some stuff. And there could be a, a possibility of reconciliation here. So let me just pull out a few more clarifiers. That one wants to come out. Yeah, with this death card, so I can see, I mean, coming out with on top of the Ace of Swords, definitely looks like there was some type of blockage put up, you know, and... It, when it comes to communication, I want to say, but this death card, it looks like there's been a transformation and maybe what was needed was this separation between the two of you, but maybe you guys are starting to realize that there actually is a firm foundation here between the two of you and, and this could bring about, like, this is Phoenix transformation. This is and this is like rising up from the ashes from fire and so maybe there was a lot of pain between the two of you and now the separation actually brought you to to kind of some type of metamorphosis and some and i want to even say like an awakening between the two of you that maybe you guys have both done some self-reflection um yeah, what did I say? Some self-reflection. And we've got the Hermit card. So that was perfect. That's about inner reflection, going within, doing self-reflection, taking that time apart, um, going within. So that might have been what happened. Maybe the two of you took that time apart to really do that self-reflection. This is all about learning. This is like really intense growth. That's why we usually go through these hermit phases is it's when we can go within and really take a look at the patterns in our life and look at the moments of dissatisfaction, like why they're happening. And we've got the three of cups here. So there's a couple of things I could, I'm picking up with this. Okay. This could, for some of you Scorpios, be a third-party situation, and that's why there was this disappointment that might have been the secrets that was going on as there was a third-party situation. But the thing that I am mainly picking up on, because on this side of the energy is more of the transformation, I feel like this is actually an offer being made, that it's like a third cup being offered between the two of you. So one of you might be reaching out to the other person to like offer your emotions, offer a new beginning, offer like, you know, like a brand new start because this person feels some disappointment and loss and they want a new beginning or a new start. So like I said, this actually looks really positive, Scorpio. This you know, there's this make the effort, let go of control issues, and there actually could be a, a new beginning because there's a, a definite transformation that's happened here between one or both of you. I want to say there's been a transformation with the person who had the control issues. Oh, I love this. So we've got moon cycles that popped out. Oh, this is awesome. Okay. Okay. We've got moon cycles. It says, notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capital capitalize upon these cycles. This goes perfect. We just had yesterday. Oh, sorry. I'm shooting these videos on Saturday. But we just had the new moon in Aries. So that's a time of new beginnings. So take a look at those moon cycles. I also want to say that this is correlated to that hermit card of that self-reflection looking over patterns in your life. That's what moon cycles mean to me is looking over the patterns that you have and using that to transform, making different decisions and deciding to show up differently in your relationships so that you can end karmic cycles and, and habitual patterns when it comes to relationships and disappointment in relationships. And that will really help you to, you know, make a different change in this relationship. And this is the next card that popped out is victory. So ending on this card, awesome ending. Your prayers have been heard and answered to have faith. 
So I, I with this combination, Scorpio, it looks like this this looks very positive. This reconciliation or reconnection that could happen between the two of you, I feel like would be victorious. Or for some of you Scorpios, maybe this relationship just had to happen for some of you that are not do not want to get back together with this person, although I am seeing that strongly in the read. I just feel like it's helped you to really transform and go through a big awakening or metamorphosis in your own life and you're coming out very victorious and I feel like that's going to help you move forward to more uh, healthy and victorious relationships, ones that are much better and make you more happy but you've done the self-work I feel like there's a definite transformation that's happened here so yeah this looks very positive Scorpio that looks like um what's coming up for you guys over the next couple weeks I hope that helped you in some way and gave you some clarity and guidance and with that being said those are your messages and I will see you guys next week for your reading take care